The Overwatch Season 4 trailer is finally here, so let's break it down. We have some new victory poses in the Battle Pass, as well as a skin for Life Weaver. Now it's not super clear to me what skins will be in the Battle Pass, and which ones may be in an event, so we will just have to find out on Tuesday. As for the shop, we can expect two Omnic skins for Junkrat and Roadhog, a Black Swan themed Life Weaver, a Harley Quinn looking Widowmaker, and a Pinocchio looking Zen. Now we have a really cool space theme for the Battle Pass. And Sig was the hero to snatch the mythic skin. And I gotta say, he slays. I'm really hoping these skins are in the Battle Pass because they look so damn good. Some more cool skins to expect, as well as these Echo and Brigitte skins, and Tracer and Ramatra. We will have three main events throughout the course of the Battle Pass, with the opportunity to unlock more skins. We can also look forward to a Pride celebration. What exactly this will entail, we'll have to find out. Now I'm super excited about this. The Overwatch devs did a stream where they built a map in real time. And they built it off of the community's suggestions. And we all voted to call it Talantis. Because we made it a Talon base underwater. And it looks like we'll actually be able to play on it. They also gave us a roadmap. There will be a Bob and Lifeweaver game mode. The limited time game mode Starwatch will start May 9th and we'll also get a new comic. The Symmetra Challenge skin will begin May 23rd, while Talantis will be available starting May 25th. They also mentioned the Battle Pass bundles, but let's take a closer look. Because is that a new D.Va skin? I know that was a lot of information, but make sure you let me know what you think about Season 4 in the comments, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the Overwatch news.